Hey guys, Hobie Hill, Deep Dungeon Games. We're bringing you King's War. Yes, the awesome King's War, the Battle of the Four Kings. Um, yeah, so this game is super fun. Doesn't require too much. As always, I try to keep it pretty simple. Um, you can always use a, a scratch pad if necessary. Uh, with that being said, we uh, glad you were watching with watching with us or watching us, I guess. And if you want to support us, you can do so at DeepDungeonGames.com and pick up the PDF of Deception. Uh, if you would prefer to, say, buy a hardback or softback cover like me, I like the physical copy or physical prints, you can totally get one at DriveThruRPG. But if you're only on Roll20, guess what? We got you there too. So we can search us up and find all our products on Roll20. Uh, without any further ado, here's King's War. Hey guys, we're gonna be doing King's War here. So this is the D10, D4 card based rule system with through Deception. Okay guys, so I'm gonna read the game rules to start with. Uh, every player is a king in this game and each player rolls a D4, a D4 here to determine their suit. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. So I got the three, which is the hearts. So I'm gonna jot that down on a little scratch piece here. Um, so if you don't know, the one is, if you roll a one to determine your suit, you're a spade, you roll a two, you're a club, you roll a three, you're a heart, and you roll a four, you are a diamond. So it uh, doesn't matter which uh, suit you are, players can be the same suit, so no big deal. Um, to continue on with the rules, the dealer or DM then rolls to put out ten cards. As always, refer to the dice to card rules. Uh, at the beginning of the supplement. A player receives the point value for any card that is shown in their suit. If they are suited with one or more other kings, the points are split. So basically, the DM is rolling the cards, or essentially drawing the cards for you, and you're just hoping to get lucky. And uh, I would say, I don't cover this actually, sadly, for whatever crazy weird reason, I don't, and so that stinks. But yeah, so what I would say is that the split that I would just round up on the half and go that way, so that way, I mean, I know you're splitting it, so just go ahead and split it on the high side. Um, anyways, so if I would say that if I had a, another person with a heart, then I would be splitting points with them. So I guess uh, it does matter what suit you are. You want to be your own suit if possible. But I guess that's kind of like a, like if you were a king or a multiple king or a different type of uh, uh, governmental system would be interesting, right? Um, so in this case, I'm going to put my D4 over here with a three on it right there. Okay. And on um, the three, which you can't see, so I'll put that a little bit better. Okay. So as the, I'm going to roll the cards. So that is a four, which is not my suit. So again, I'm just going to roll this guys. So another four, so not my suit, but if it was your suit, you would like it. So two, not my suit, not my points. That's three. Oh, finally got a suit. So we got a nine of uh, hearts. So I have nine points. Oh, yep, so face value and, uh, oh yeah, to cover that, I'm sorry. An ace is one point, two to 10 is face value, a jack is 11, queen is 12, and a king is 12. Because no one wants a higher king than them. <laughs> so I think that was my fifth roll, I believe. Sorry if I'm wrong. So a two, so not me, so that's number six. A two, so it seems like the twos and the, the fours have rolled quite a bit. That's seventh roll, so three. So I had a one, so this means I have a face card. Okay, so now I need to roll the d4 again. So I drew a jack of hearts because a two is a jack. And a one is an ace, a two is jack, a three is a queen, and a four is a king. Okay, so I have a total of 20 points currently, and I think I have two more rolls, I believe. If I'm wrong, don't crucify me, guys. Sorry. So it's a two, so it doesn't matter for me. And lastly, a two of nine. So I think the two would have won. Whoever, had, if someone had a club, uh, that's not necessarily true because I mean, say that everyone else on the table ruled rolled twos, they would all be splitting those points, um, which would stink. But yeah, so that's how you play King's War, guys. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I always like to leave you guys with the lore segment of this game and the inspiration behind it. So this game was based on the fabled War of the Four Kings. After the war, daring bards joked that the Four Kings spent more time recruiting troops than they actually did fighting the war. In the end, there were very few fatalities during the war. So it's kind of a haha, -ha, like we're just going to amass power to scare the other guys. And uh, yeah, so that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.